On April 25, 2024, the New York Supreme Court stunned the world when it overturned Harvey Weinstein's 2020 conviction for sex crimes, a landmark case that had once ignited the Hash Me Too movement and challenged the unspoken codes of silence in Hollywood and beyond, now sits in legal limbo. This decision evokes a powerful mix of disbelief and alarm. What led to such a dramatic judicial reversal? And what does this mean for the future of the Hash Me Too movement and victims of sexual misconduct seeking justice? These questions are now at the forefront of a renewed debate about accountability, power, and the progress of societal norms. The Legal Battle Key Arguments and Rationale In early 2020, Harvey Weinstein was found guilty of rape and sexual assault, a verdict reached after a highly publicized trial featuring a multitude of witnesses and victims sharing harrowing accounts. Fast forward to 2024, his lawyers successfully petitioned for an appeal on grounds that are as complex as they are controversial. Central to their argument was the claim of judicial bias and procedural errors which they argued skewed the fairness of the 2020 trial. The New York Supreme Court's decision to overturn Weinstein's conviction was primarily based on these points. The court highlighted specific instances where it believed the original trial judge may have exhibited partial behavior particularly in the admission of certain testimonies and evidence. This decision has rekindled a fierce legal debate about the balance between a defendant's right to a fair trial and the public's desire for justice in cases of severe misconduct. This reversal does not imply Weinstein's innocence, but rather points to a judicial determination that the integrity of legal procedures must be maintained even in high-stakes, emotionally charged cases. Wouldn't that be great if this integrity was applied in all courts of justice equally? This outcome serves as a stark reminder of the loopholes that can be used in legal battles, especially those involving powerful figures and deeply ingrained societal issues. Implications for the Hash Me Too movement and sexual misconduct accountability The overturning of Weinstein's conviction sends shockwaves far beyond the confines of the courtroom. For the Hash Me Too movement, which gained momentum as victims felt empowered to come forward with their stories, this development might signal a worrisome shift. There's a palpable fear that this could dissuade other victims from seeking justice, worried that even high-profile cases might not lead to lasting repercussions for perpetrators. The legal reversal also poses significant questions about the strategies employed by prosecutors in sexual misconduct cases. The scrutiny of the Weinstein trial might encourage future defense teams to adopt similar tactics, potentially leading to more rigorous challenges to the admissibility of evidence and the testimonies of victims. This scenario underscores the need for the criminal justice system to adapt and possibly reform prosecutorial and judicial processes to ensure they are both just and fair. Moreover, the decision impacts public perception and trust in the legal system particularly concerning how it handles cases of sexual assault and harassment by powerful people. To some, the reversal might reveal resilience in adhering to due process, but to others, it represents a disheartening setback in the fight against systemic abuse. In conclusion, Harvey Weinstein's conviction being overturned is not just a moment of legal recalibration, but a turning point that may define the future contours of the Hash Me Too movement and broader efforts toward ensuring accountability in cases of sexual misconduct. As society grapples with these complex and deeply divisive issues, the path forward will likely necessitate a reassessment of both our legal frameworks and our collective commitment to supporting victims of abuse. The implications of this case will resonate, informing future legal precedents and societal norms. As society grapples with these complex and deeply divisive issues, the path forward will likely necessitate a reassessment of both our legal frameworks and our collective commitment to supporting victims of abuse. The implications of this case will resonate, informing future legal precedents and societal norms. Such developments remind us that the journey toward justice and equality is fraught with challenges, requiring vigilance, resilience, and most importantly, a steadfast dedication to truth and justice. And in case you are worried, he's staying in jail until the trial due to another conviction and sentence. If you want honesty about what's really happening in today's news, Subscribe to The Ex Pharmacist to see more growling gorilla news which is going to get real fun over the coming months. Till next time, don't give up.